Okay, this is a instructional video for an Agilent uh, 54622D mixed signal oscilloscope. All right, so the first thing you want to do, other than making sure that it's hooked into power, is to connect whatever signal that you are inputting. Uh, in this case, I'm going to connect to channel one uh, using a BNC cable. All right, and once this connection is made, then we can hit power. Power is found uh, at, at the lower right hand side of the screen. And it will take you a little while to get it booted up. Okay, you're going to see uh, a line uh, flowing there. It's simply the uh, camera that I'm using having a uh, faster refresh rate than the uh, uh, screen of the oscilloscope itself, so uh, bear with that fact. Okay, so uh, there is a signal connected to it. Uh, it's currently connected and I know uh, because I have it hooked up to a function generator that that signal is 60 Hertz and uh, about plus and minus one volt. So what I want to do is to see the signal that I have uh, which I know is turned on is channel one and it's set to be uh, at uh, one because one is turned on you can see that it's uh, light green okay so in order to uh, zoom in on the signal and actually see this in a way that makes any sense I need to change both the vertical and the horizontal scale now, uh, the f way to change the vertical scale is located within this part that says analog. And it's actually this big knob which says 5 volts to 1 millivolts. And we want to turn it so that way each of these divisions represents, uh, in this case, 500 millivolts. That's what you can see in this upper corner. Now. That fixes the vertical scale problem, but still this just looks like a relatively solid line. So how do we fix that? Well, uh, we are going to want to change the horizontal scale. And you can see in this upper part, it says horizontal scale. And all you need to do is change this. You can see that as I change it, the value for the amount of uh, time per division is decreasing. So right now it's at 100 milliseconds per division. And I can keep uh, doing this. And so now I'm at about 5 milliseconds per division. And so now I can actually see the sine wave looking reasonable. Of course I can change the vertical scale more or less depending on what I look want. If I change it so the vertical scale is uh, too small, then you can see that it clips either side off because it's outside of our... Uh, realm. So those are the key things you need to know for uh, adjusting uh, the signal uh, scale on the oscilloscope. You need this horizontal scale which is located in the horizontal section and you need the vertical scale which is located in the analog section. All right, And then the last little piece that might be nice is there's a little knob underneath uh, the channel choice and you can uh, use that and uh, move the offset up and down. So for example, if you have two signals and you want to see both of them on the same screen, but not on top of each other, you can change their offset. And it actually reads here what that offset is. Uh, so I'm going to set it so that it's back at zero.